What's going on YouTube family? It's Milan at Infinite Life and this is a limited edition Spider-Man 2 DualSense controller for the PlayStation 5. Now the first thing you'll notice is how different the color scheme and the branding is with this limited edition controller compared to the previous ones. The non-game related controllers come in a box that is primarily white and just has a picture of the controller on the front. Now with the game themed controllers, PlayStation has been getting more bold with the packaging. The God of War controller had a black and white variation to the box. The Hogwarts Legacy box was primarily black. And with this new Spider-Man 2 controller, we have a nice dark crimson red color, which looks awesome. Now we have the controller pictured right in the center as we are used to. The PlayStation and the Sony logo with the blue band running across the top. And in the bottom right, we have the Marvel Spider-Man 2 logo. And in the bottom left, we have the limited edition DualSense wireless controller for PlayStation 5. Now really quick, let's take a look around the box. On the left, we have the Marvel Spider-Man 2 logo. And at the bottom, we have the compatible hardware PS5 logo. Now on the right side of the box, we have the Spider-Man logo. And at the bottom, a list of the contents inside of the box. And lastly, on the back, we have another image of the DualSense controller with the phrase heighten your senses and some additional information at the bottom. And this retails for $79.99 US dollars. Now before we go further, I just wanted to take the time to say thank you to all my new and long-term supporters. We have just crossed the 2000 subscriber mark. It is because of you guys and your support that makes content creation so much fun and enjoyable for me. So thank you to all of you. And if you are new here, join the family. Hit that like and subscribe button. All right, now with that said, let's open this thing up. Now just like all the previous controllers, we have the instruction manual and the controller is wrapped in this white sleeve. And there it is, the newest limited edition controller for the PlayStation 5. Now there are things that I like about this controller and then there are some things that I don't. First, let's start with the things that I like. I love the two-tone shell, making it look like the base plate is red with the black symbiote taking over Spidey's red suit. Now we have a white Spidey logo in the center of the touchpad. And they also went with the white translucent PlayStation buttons on the right and the black translucent D-pad buttons on the left. This is a really nice touch of contrast and it looks really cool. The share and the option icons above the buttons are white and the PlayStation Home button is black. We have all black bumper and trigger buttons like we've seen in the previous PlayStation controllers. And ultimately, if you have used any DualSense controller in the past, you'll feel right at home with this limited edition Spidey controller. Now PlayStation definitely has a formula with these limited edition controllers. They slap on a logo in the center of the touchpad and have some color and design variations and call it a day. It just seems there isn't a lot of thought put into these limited edition controllers as much as I would like. But I will say, each new limited edition controller is getting bolder and bolder than the previous. Now one thing that is missing from this limited edition controller compared to the God of War Ragnarok or the Hogwarts Legacy is a logo that is on the back of the controller. It's not something anyone really sees, but it's a nice display touch from the back of the controller. And also maybe they could have put like a retro Spidey logo on the bottom of the grip, like how they did with the Hogwarts Legacy controller that had the wand in that one spot. Now, I will say, this is my favorite game theme controller for the PlayStation 5. I'm still a big fan of the gray camo and I love my custom PlayStation controller with the retro color icons and the PlayStation home button. Now when it comes to functionality, this is the same as any previous DualSense controller. Nothing new here. If you are familiar with any previous PlayStation controller over this past generation, you know what to expect. Historically, I've never been a big fan of PlayStation controllers in general, but the DualSense is a major upgrade compared to the previous DualShock controllers. The size, the ergonomics, the weight just feels so good with these controllers. All right, so let's talk about the Spider-Man 2 PS5 plates. These are impossible to get. The initial release from PlayStation Direct sold out in seconds, and the more recent drops have fared just the same. So instead, I'm going to make my own Spider-Man 2 themed plates. So I have a set of black plates and I ordered a third party set of red plates. Now the PlayStation official Cosmic Red isn't really red enough as I would like. It has some purple cherry to it. So I wanted a red color that was going to have a lot more pop to it. I also ordered some Spider-Man and Venom vinyl stickers. And of course, I'm going to have the Spider-Man logo on the red plate, which is going to be on the left side of the console. And I'm going to have the Venom logo on the black plate, which is going to be on the right side. Okay, so let's add the vinyl stickers to the plate first. Now the PS5 plates are roughly 10.2 inches by 15.4 inches. 
So if we want to find the center, we're roughly at 5.1 inches by 7.7 .7 inches. Now these vinyl stickers are about 8 inches in size, and I'll link the Etsy store, which I ordered them from, in the description below. I think these look great. Now that we have the vinyl stickers on the plates, we have to replace the white face plates from the console with these new ones. First, I'm going to remove any game disc from inside of the console from the disk drive, power off my PS5, and unplug the power, HDMI, and Ethernet cables. Now the first time you try to take off the face plates, it can be a little hard and tricky, but after you do it once, you'll understand how it works. The easiest way is to lift up the top back corner, and what you are doing is raising these little round pegs that lock the plates into place. As you can see on the plates here, this is what clicks into the console here. And once the pegs are released, you just simply slide the plates downward and the plates are released. And we will do the same thing on the other side. You can see I scratched my console from trying to remove the plates for the very first time. I used too much force, but it's okay because no one sees this anyway. While we have the plates off, let's go ahead and remove any dust that might have built up over time. Now I know this is going to be a controversial topic and what is the right way to clean tech, but this works for me and I've been doing this every few months since I've had my PlayStation 5. First, I'll take a microfiber cloth and wipe away any loose dust or dirt. Next, I'll take my vacuum here and mostly use it around the fan to pull away any loose dust. Now I'm not pressing hard against the console or trying to make the fan spin, just lightly running the bristles over the area to pull away any loose particles. Let me know in the comments section how you guys clean your tech. Now on the disc side, you will find the silver plate. This is the M.2 SSD expansion slot. I have my 2TB Fire CUDA SSD in here. By the way, this is the best upgrade you can make for your PS5, hands down. Now Spider-Man 2 is said to be around 98GB at launch, so this might be the perfect time to expand the storage. If you are interested in installing an SSD yourself, I'll link my video here for you guys to watch afterwards. Alright, let's go ahead and install our new custom PS5 plate. You just line up the hook with the slots in the console body, gently push upward, and the plate should click into place. We will do the top plate first, followed by the bottom, and there you go. You have your custom PS5 plates installed. Alright you guys, well there you have it. Our custom PS5 plates to go along with the newly released limited edition Spider-Man 2 DualSense controller for the PlayStation 5. I absolutely love the new controller design and how the plates turned out. I cannot wait for Spider-Man 2 to drop on October 20th for the PlayStation 5 and I have my setup ready to go. So guys, what do you think? Have you guys had any luck getting the controller or the plates? Now if you guys have made it to the end of this video, I thank you so much. Leave some red and black hearts in the comment section below so I can thank you personally for how awesome you are. Hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification icon if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this from me real soon. Follow me over on my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter and with that we'll see you guys in the next video.